Hey, it's Mark Lanier with your video thought for the day, pulling into the weekend. All right, I don't know what you have planned this weekend, but I wanna ask you a question. What is the most valuable gift, physical gift, you've ever been given? Think about it. Now imagine being asked to take care of something that's priceless, uh, a, a masterpiece of engineering and design. See, the Apostle Paul tells us that's exactly what we've been given. He wrote to the Corinthians and he said, your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit. Now, think about that for just a moment as we explore why caring for our physical health isn't just about looking good or living longer. It's actually about honoring the creator who designed us. First thing I want to do is talk about this idea of sacred space. Uh, it's a term that I know Janet Seifert likes to use. Um, you know, in ancient times, temples were not casual spaces. You go back to the temple that was built by Solomon. David purchased the threshing floor of Aruna for that um, temple. And that was where God's um, uh, uh, visitation of, of judgment upon Israel was abated by a sacrifice of David's. It was a sacred space. Um, temples were meticulously maintained. They were carefully protected. Um, they were treated with the utmost respect in antiquity. And Paul's metaphor is an intentional one. Paul uh, says our bodies aren't just biological machines. They're sacred spaces where the divine dwells. And this changes everything about how we view health. Now exercise becomes an act of worship. Um, nutrition becomes stewardship. Uh, rest becomes uh, holy restoration. So let's talk about a moment the price of this value. See, Paul also says, you were bought with a price. And this speaks to our worth, our value. When something's valuable, we treat it differently. Uh, we maintain it. Uh, we protect it. We invest in it. Consider this. If our bodies are valuable enough for God to purchase, aren't they valuable enough for us to maintain? Now, this isn't about perfectionism. It's about appreciation. Every healthy choice we make becomes an acknowledgement of the price paid for us. So how can I apply this in closing? Well, we can honor God through physical stewardship. Um, start each day with a prayer of gratitude for the life, the physical life that God's given you. Choose nourishing foods as we go into the weekend as an act of respect for your temple. View exercise as a celebration of what your body can do. Prioritize rest, um, right rest as essential maintenance. If you've got sleep apnea, use your CPAP machine and make medical checkups part of spiritual discipline. You know, valuable gifts are few and far between, but you've got nothing physically valuable like the dwelling place of God in you. And it's yours uniquely to take care of. So let's do it. It's a good thing, it's a holy thing. And it's why I've made this your video thought for today.